Okay, let's take a look at um, an essay for task number 49. So, um, this was chosen at random by the generator, uh, which you may have seen in the channel, well, in the group. So, we had about, I don't know, maybe 18, 19 introductions, and we spin the, the wheel, as it were, of the generator, and this is the one that uh, has been chosen. So, we're going to take a look at this, and we're going to compare it to the criteria, which uh, I will show you. And here we are. This is the criteria that we uh, like to use. It's our modified version of the public version, purely for teaching purposes. So uh, no copyright issues there, covered under fair use. So first things first, word count, word count. What do we have? Let me see. 265, a little bit short, a little bit short. Now, 250 is a minimum, but if you're writing, you know, 250, 260 ish, there's a possibility you might not be able to properly develop your main ideas. So, aim for 300 or just under 290 to 300. Actually, you can go over, obviously, but because um, there's no uh, a penalty. But I would aim for around about 300 between 12 to 14 sentences, and that will be fine. That will help you to, to properly develop your main ideas, you know, fully developed. Oops, where's my, my pen? Fully developed position, fully extended, well supported ideas. So the better you support it with good reasons, specific examples, the higher your task response will be. So let's take a look. Some people believe that face-to-face -face communication is always more powerful than written communication. For well, instance, do you agree or disagree with this statement? Some people believe... Well, okay. Now, we've got to be careful. We don't want to be using too many words the same. So what you could do here is, according to some, if it says some people believe a useful paraphrase is according to some verbal well right so why is believe and thought so some people believe that somebody else thinks well that doesn't work does it some people believe uh verbal communication now verbal communication is not the same as face-to-face -face communication i can call you on the telephone and that's verbal communication. Are we face to face? No, we are not. So make sure that you get it right. Add nothing, omit nothing. It doesn't say that. Oral communication, verbal communication. I can call you on the telephone. I can give you a call on Skype. Are we face to face? No, we're not. So some people believe verbal communication is more impactful than nonverbal relationships such as writing. I agree with this belief. All communication gives you more information than reading their words. Uh, okay, all right. let's see what it says. The most prominent reason behind this is that direct communication proves, don't forget third person S, real value of communication to the other person okay not sure what uh, what that means direct communication is greater way is a what is a greater than what why are you using a comparative greater than what or you mean is a great way to understand the fact or facts which is real or not well what's that got to do with more powerful well again direct communication what does that mean it means face to uh, face direct again i mean i could i could write to you directly so you know that's not the same thing as face to face direct communication as opposed to indirect well, as again, I could write to you uh, directly, I want you to do this now. That's pretty direct, even though it's not verbal. We're not face-to-face. -face. How is that uh, in direct? 
Okay. Direct communication is a great way to understand the facts. What's facts got to do with anything? Okay. It is also an effective way to find feelings and other express. What's that? Expressions and emotions. No idea what that means. So, the most prominent reason I can mention proves the pro okay, so proves the real value. Okay, okay, so what does that mean? The real value of communication. Okay, which which means what? Direct communication, what as opposed to indirect? To understand the facts, what facts? Now you're talking about it's also an effective way to find feelings and other expressions and emotions, which means what? What are you talking about? For instance, in a job interview, when the job seeker attends a personal interview, well, that's why it's called a job interview. So, okay. Attitude, physical gesture and manners in most important media. What does that mean? To express the real value of talk. And again, what does that mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. For instance, the job interview, when the job seeker attends, so for instance, in a job interview, you know, okay, face to face, attitude, physical gesture, and manners, I get your general idea. You say that nonverbal communication is important, but in most important media to express the real value of talk, that is nonsense. No idea what that means. In addition, if people are negotiating, they could see, or they can see, during the negotiation, how an opponent, well, it's not an opponent, is it? You're not at war, it's not a competition. How an opponent is moving, he, she is nervous or relaxed, and what they are, are doing. Well, isn't this exactly the same that you just said? Isn't this exactly the same thing? Except you've merely changed the context. Isn't this exactly the same thing? Body language and facial gesture or facial gestures can say many things about the, the person, uh, their strong and weak sides, or their weak and strong sides, traits, mood, and even habits. Uh, Okay, but so that's basically exactly the same thing. You just change the context. Moreover, face-to-face -face communication occurs everywhere in a person's life. It can be life-changing, very inspirational. Okay, but is it? But right, go back to the the question. The, the question is: Do you agree or disagree? Change the color. Make it blue. Do you agree or disagree that face-to-face -face communication is always more powerful than written communication? That's the question. Do you agree or disagree face-to-face -face communication is always, every circumstance, more powerful, stronger than written communication? So you haven't said anything about written communication except for this bit, which we'll come to. So... Let's go through this again. Okay. And gives you more information. Is not the same. Put it back on. Is not the same as more powerful than written communication. More information simply means that. It doesn't say anything about strength or power. Okay. So the most prominent reason that communication proves real value of communication. Um, no idea what that uh, means. Great way to understand the facts, which are real or not. Effective way, right? No, uh, I'm, that's very, very, very vague. I, I, I have no clear idea what you're talking about. Uh, so, body language. So, here you're talking about non-verbal communication is important. You can see more than that. Why didn't you simply say... Face-to-face, uh, -face, the real value of face-to-face -face communication is um, that we can see non-verbal non cues as to the real meaning or intent of the person. Why didn't you just say that? 
that would have been a lot easier to understand. Moreover, face-to-face -face communication occurs everywhere in a person's life. Yeah, and? Life-changing and very inspirational. Yeah, and? So can written communication. A small conversation can spark ideas and imagination. Well, reading a book can spark ideas and imagination also. So what does that prove? On the other hand, in written communication, for example, if the communicator communicates, well, that's what you, that's what communicators do, communicates via email and other media. Sometimes they cannot, sometimes they are not able to understand the real facts and misunderstandings can take place. Well, um, what, how can you, how can you prove that? I mean, um, I could speak to you face to face and you might not understand me. So, uh, where's the example? Sometimes if the communicator sends you an email, the reader can't understand the real facts. Well, why can't they? What facts are you talking about? How exactly are they not able to understand? Be specific. Where's your example? In conclusion, I believe that direct communication not only adds immense value to conversation, but also expands your social circle of people dramatically. Where does this, where's, where has this idea come from? Where's this come? Where's this come from? Where did you mention that? Never include new fresh information in the conclusion. You never mentioned that. Where's it come from? I believe that direct communication not only adds immense value to conversation, but if you're in conversation, sure you are communicating directly, so that's nonsense. I have no idea what you're talking about. And where's this? Also expands your social circle of people. Well, how? How? Who? When you're trying to give examples, who, how, where, what, why, when, Simple assertion is not an argument. And you are able to understand your friend's emotion and mood in face-to-face -face communication. Well, where did it say that? Friends. So, I see we have a fair bit to uh, assess here. Let's have a look at the criteria now and see what that can tell us. So, let's see what we can see. Let's get the criteria up. Task response. Does it fully address all parts of the task? Not really. Fully developed, fully extended ideas, clear position? No. Well developed response? Is it clear? No. All parts clear? Again? No. Overly general? May lack focus? Hmm, that sounds kind of like it. All right, all right. Let's have a look again. So. Do you agree or disagree face-to-face -face communication more always more powerful than written communication? So it gives you more information. It's not strictly the same as more powerful. The reason behind this proves the real value of communication. I'm not sure what that means. Greater way to understand the facts, effective ways. So, brr, is it clear? Is it clear? Well, not really. And there's no evidence. Simple assertion is not an argument, as I keep saying. Unclear, unclear. Shall we go down to a five? Well, there is a bit of repetition. Paragraph two and three are basically the same. No conclusions drawn, insufficiently developed. Well, okay, okay. I'll be generous. I'll give it six. The examiner may give it five, but it's, you know, we can see these key words. Unclear, unclear, inadequate, you know, the the evidence, the arguments are not there. They're just not. Simple assertion. 
and I'm not really sure. I mean, you know, there's some. I can see there's some main ideas there, but it's just not as clear. We've got some ideas we can see, but it's just you know the clarity is not there, right? We we have some main ideas, but uh, it's very difficult for the reader to understand what they are. So cohesion, coherence, your paragraphing, your logic. Let's take a look at this. So we've got a paragraphs. Okay. Do we have progression? Not not really, because we've got two basically the same ideas. So can we do cohesion? Well, no, it certainly can't. Logical sequence? No. Clear central topic? Not really. Logic? Not really. Uh, I think we're coming down to six. Again, central topic, not always be clear. I think that's there. Repetition, yeah, okay. So I think, to be fair, we're going to be doing six and six. The task response, cohesion and coherence. Now, vocabulary, vocabulary, let's have a look. So do we have a wide range of vocabulary with rare errors? Is it a wide range? Skillful use of in common, sorry, uncommon Idiomatic items. Well, let's have a look. Uh, mm -mm. So, communication. Right, right. So, let's get a different colour. What colour shall I use? Something, something light. Okay. So, communication. Communication. Hope you can see why I'm doing this. Do we have it again? Yes, we've got it again. Communicator communicates. Communication. So I hope you can see uh, my point. So hmm, do we have a wide range of vocabulary? Do we have a wide range of Vocabulary. Um, do we have a wide range of vocabulary? No. Um, do we use? Do we have a wide range fluently and flexibly? No. Uncommon items, not especially. Sufficient resource. Some appropriacies. Let's have a look. Adequate, appropriate, less common spelling. Gen. All right now. Here we go. So the meaning is clear, despite a rather, I would say that's a rather restricted range or a lack of precision in word choice. Let's have a look again. So communication, 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 communication. Go, oh, sorry, I missed, I missed one there. Another one, communication, communication, mm -mm 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 -mm. negotiating, negotiation, communicate, facial gestures. Okay, so there's some, there's some stuff there. There's something interesting language some good collocations life-changing inspirational but we've still got lots of communication communicate 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 etc etc so i would say restricted range because there's not a lot of a lack of precision so i'd probably give that six as well six 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 the number of the beast ha ah, but grammar grammar now it's a number of sentences without a mistake Okay, doke, okay. that's how it works, right? So it's not the errors that you make, it's the number of sentences that you produce that do not contain a mistake. So first thing, how many sentences? What do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve sentences. So four and eight, we need a majority without a mistake. So if we've got 12, a majority is probably going to be at least eight, nine, 10, etc. Frequent, so that's going to be over two thirds, it's going to be half to two thirds. So if you've got what we'll to say it's 12, so you're going to need about, you know, six, seven, eight again. Okay, so let's see how many that don't have a 
grammatical mistake. Um, well, that's just a simple. That could be a typo. That's one, two, three. Missing articles. Four. Five, six. Six. So, six out of twelve. So, frequent. Well, not really. Mix of simple forms. Structures have a accurate we've got a few errors doesn't really impede communication does it go down to five limited range repetitive structures no, no, no i think i think again this is going to be six so as far as i'm concerned six 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 don't have to do a calculation there six for this essay so what can you do to make it better well i'll tell you first things first right be clear Half of the time, I'm not sure what you're talking about. You need to be crystal clear. Treat the examiner as an idiot. Make it clear. You know, I think this because blah, blah, blah. Also, simple assertion is not an argument. Reasons, examples. Every essay says, write 250 words, give reasons and examples based on your own experience, blah, blah, blah. You haven't. There's no examples here. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, the examiner might even give you five for task response for being a bit uh, kind of strict. So uh, we've got no specific examples, lots of repetition, vocab, communication, communication, lots of very similar words, um, progression. You say the same thing basically twice, but in a slightly different context. Um, as I say, there's no examples. Vocab could be be improved, could be a wider range. Not very clear. Some of the sentences, some of the expressions and phrasing are not easily understood or not understood at all by the reader. So there's a few things there. So if you work on those, I think you'll be okay. So I hope that helps.